I always say about Radiance Films, it sounds like a backhanded compliment, but it's not. I don't love everything that they put out. I haven't liked, maybe I've not liked more than I have liked what they've put out, but I love that they put out what they put out and that they do what they do. From 1966, we have from Radiance Films on Blu-ray, Misunderstood. This is an Italian film with two British actors in, in prominent roles, but it's really mostly an Italian cast. And it's a film I'd never heard of until I got my review copy. And it's really good. It's really good. It's a good movie to watch like on a lazy Sunday afternoon, whether it's sunny or rainy out. It's just, it's kind of slow. Um, and, and it's the kind of thing that maybe if this was a contemporary film, I might've found it dull, but something about when it was set and the look of everything, it's Italy in the mid sixties. It's this gorgeous house. It's the way people carry themselves. It's the score directed by uh, Luigi Comencini and stars Anthony Quayle, British, I believe British, British or Australian actor, uh, Stefano Colagrande and Graziella Granada, and two little kids whose names I don't remember. <laughs> it's uh, in Italian with English subtitles. Basic story goes a little something like this. Father has to break it to his two young sons. One is slightly older than the other, but they're both pretty young. Um, that his wife, their mother, has just passed away. They've been sent off to stay with a relative or a friend of the family for a little while where he deals with the, his wife's death. And he tells the older son what happened. And he says, don't tell your younger brother. Just let's, let's say that mom's away and she'll be back eventually. And we don't want to just shatter his world just yet. So it is this film that is about the husband trying to stay positive for his, his son's trying to deal with the grief on his own. It's about the older son trying to deal with that grief, and some of it comes out in acting out and being just the little devil. And the young youngest son, the younger brother, just being this goofy, frivolous mischief maker in his own little sort of fantasy world. Um, it's a really quite a wonderful film, you know? It's very sad. It's very funny at times. It's the attitudes of the kids and their mischief is very funny and whimsical and silly and goofy and the little adventures they go off on and the little scrapes and, and situations they get themselves into. Uh, as I said, gorgeous interiors, gorgeous exteriors of this mansion that it's shot at. You get to see these little downtowns of, I think it's, I want to say it's Florence this film takes place in. Um, gorgeous Italian locations and the transfer is beautiful. It doesn't make it look like a new movie, but it doesn't look like an old movie. It looks like it could have been shot yesterday, you know? Um, stylistically, it doesn't look like a new movie, but the quality is so good. The color is so natural. It always sounds weird to say this, but the skin tones are really on point. The, 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 there's, you can see the grain, which is not a bad thing. Grain is not bad. Film has grain. It's so sharp, you can see the grain naturally, like you were sitting in a theater, you know, semi-close to the screen watching it. It's just a, it's a beautiful presentation of this film. It's, it's such a, it's, it's a heartbreaking ending to this film. I'm not going to give anything away, but it's a bit of a sucker punch at the end of the film, but it's really good. Now, I'm not saying this is the kind of film you want to watch over and over again because it's it's quite an emotional ride, but it's a, a high quality film. And it's one of those where I was, it's over and I'm like, why have I never heard of this? Did this never get released in the US? Did this never have a home video release? I don't know. I've, I've just, I've never heard of it. And it's really high quality. This feels along the lines of some of those Italian films, European dramas from the 70s or 60s that you do hear about. So many of these movies from this era I've heard about but never seen, and for some reason Misunderstood was just not one of them. Uh, special features, we have a 2021 interview with uh, film critic Michael Ciment, or Ciment, C-I-M-E-N-T, about the film that's 24 minutes. We get Piero Di Bernardi and Cristina Comencini, the daughter of the director from 2008, discussing the film. Uh, it's the daughter discussing the film with, a co with the co-screenwriter from 2008, and that's 35 minutes, and you get A Child's Heart. It's a new in uh, visual essay by filmmaker David Cairns, who does a lot of visual essays on various film companies, Blu-rays, um, on the director and his affinity for childhood stories. That's 25 minutes, and then a trailer that's three minutes. So it's not like an overabundance of extras, but Radiance makes them count, you know? Like, they're really intelligent, they're really scholarly, and it's it's not like you're, you, nece you don't necessarily have to spend hours and hours and hours with the extras. So uh, the packaging itself, always very understated and classy. It comes with this OB strip here. Well, if I do this shit, maybe you can see it, yeah. It comes with this OB strip here that uh, will come off, just slips out. So they, they, they're not intentionally designing covers that uh, cover up half the image or half the title. Uh, and then the, on the back, you get that, you can see it. Inside, the discs are always pretty subtle as far as what's printed on the disc. 
and then we get a reversible cover that shows uh, alternate. I don't feel like this is the original poster art. I think this is just alternate poster art there. And then it comes with a book that is a sizable book. The uh, Radiance books are always really well done. They always feature images that are taken, trying to figure out how to get this in focus the best. They always feature images that are taken from the new transfer, so stills, and uh, a lot of writing. What do we have here? We have, the contents are, uh, cast and crew, Troubled Youth in Cinema from 2023 by Manuela Lazic. Interview with Luigi Comencini from 1978, the director by Dominique Reborn, and transfer notes and credits. So the, what I always love about Radiance too is the stuff they put in the booklet is not just a duplication of the information and the content that you get on the disc itself. It's something unique, so it's well worth reading. So well worth picking up from 1966, Misunderstood, uh, Radiance Blu-ray.